Everybody looks so good tonight. Are y'all ready for Christmas? Yeah. <laughs> you ready for Santa Claus to come? All right. I bet he's on the way. You ready for Rudolph? Yeah. All right. All right. That's great. So, so do you think you're going to have an easy time going to sleep tonight with Christmas so close tomorrow? No? Are you going to stay up to watch for Santa? You're going to be looking like that? Out the window or up the chimney? You're going to do like that wherever you go. Huh? You're just going to walk around with your hands like that. Oh, you're going to hide and try. Oh, I see. Okay. Man. You know, for, for a group like this tonight, y'all have a lot of plans. Y'all have a lot of plans for tonight, huh? You look pretty excited. Well, I am so glad that you were so excited and you guys are awake and alive and uh, ready for Christmas to happen. Well, you're going to help me do something here tonight. We're going to have a prayer in just a moment. Uh, but we're going to light all of our candles, and in fact, our two guys right up front here are going to help us. Uh, Joshua and Andrew are going to help us light these candles. Guys, we can light them all now. And some of you have known that we light all of the candles around the one in the middle, but guess what? We're going to light the one in the middle, because tonight is Christmas Eve, and tomorrow is Christmas. So we're lighting that candle in the middle. And we've said for a few weeks as we counted down to Christmas that all of these other candles stand for what? Can you name some of the things they stand for? Hope. And hope, joy, peace, love, and hope. And then there's one in the middle. And do you know why we have that one in the middle plus all of those other ones? Yeah, it's for Christmas Eve, but it stands for Jesus. All of these other things stand for joy and peace and hope and love. And they're the gifts that Jesus brings us, right? But that middle candle, well, that's for Jesus himself. And that's what tonight's about. We're celebrating his birth. That's right. That's, that's who that candle's for. And uh, so Jesus gives us all of these things as gifts, joy and and love and hope. Now, let me let me ask you this: uh, when you when you have some gifts, when you have some gifts tomorrow, do you think you might have to unwrap a few? Yes. Yes. <coughs> right. You think so, huh? And some of the gifts you give, someone else has to unwrap them, right? Well, you know what? The gifts that Jesus gives us. The way we unwrap them is just to invite God to come and place those things in our heart tonight. And all we have to do is say, I want joy and peace and love and hope. And in our time tonight, we're singing and praying those gifts Jesus brings to us. And I have a gift for you. Because I want you to remember those gifts that Jesus brings us. So what I have for you is a gift I'm going to give you in just a minute. And here's what it is. I'm going to tell you about it. What is that? Do you know it? That's right. And where what are you going to do with this? You're going to put it on your Christmas tree. And you know, I'll bet you remember some stories about some of the ornaments on your Christmas tree. What I want you to remember about this is that it's a gift, and it says Merry Christmas from First United Methodist Church. And when you see that, I want you to remember that all of these things that you can see are gifts from Jesus, joy and peace and love and hope. And I hope that you remember that not only when you go home and make this on your Christmas tree now, but even next year and years to come. So let's have a prayer that you remember those things when you see this ornament and that you have a wonderful Christmas. So let's have a prayer today. Can you have a prayer? All right, let's pray. God, thank you for the gifts that you give us of love, joy, peace, and hope. 
and thank, that, thank you that you give them to us deep in our hearts. Lord, let us always remember the gift that you give us of your love, your peace, your hope and joy. And give us a wonderful Christmas tonight with our families and tomorrow morning as well. Amen. All right. You're so excited you can't see I just got to, you can let out a scream in here. This is a, this is a place you can get, let, let out a, a happy Merry Christmas scream. All right. We all, we're going to go back to our places, but I want you to pass up here. And uh, I'm going to give you an ornament. And we're just going to take one for each family. So if there are a couple of brothers and sisters up here,